Hey guys, welcome back to Knife Mania. I want to show you something really cool. Now, it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> not yet, anyway. <laughs> yeah, not yet, anyway. Now, these knives I've been working on, um, I have literally put everything I know about, well, at least here in Michigan. I can't say about, you know, out on the West Coast or up in Canada or anywhere else. But the woods here in Michigan, I know, and I know very well. So everything I know about not <laughs> that I know about the <laughs> yes, eye boogers, <laughs> everything I know about knives and knife materials and the whole nine yards has gone into this knife. And this is literally a knife I've been working on for what about a year now. Yes, it's my custom knife. I've made little and short videos about it and make one for her. But she still hasn't picked out her handle material yet. Not yet. <coughs> now the rods going through it are actually <laughs> uh, titanium. <laughs> I did. I I wanted stainless, but we were out of stainless rod at the shop. So titanium rods. Uh, white liners. Black and almost a turquoise. Sorry, I, I'm trying not to spill epoxy on the couch, so. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so you can see what it looks like. Oh, come on, focus. Uh, I hope you guys can see that. But, uh, my Carta. Uh, bought the scales, uh, bought the liners. Um, steel blade is A2, uh, custom heat treat, uh, double heat treat, uh, what's it called? Dual heat treat, not double, dual. Um, because I wanted the edge, the edge area really hard, wanted the spine a little softer. Um, but yeah, no, it's finally coming together. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to finish the shaping of the handle the whole nine yards I gotta let this epoxy sit hi <laughs> ah, boogers oh sorry guys she wants to yeah she does I gotta let the epoxy sit overnight and <laughs> go from there so uh you know I made little <laughs> Made little videos here and there of me working on these, working on them at work, during my lunch hours, the whole nine yards, sent, sent them out, got them heat treated, the whole nine yards. Uh, actually, Bob did that for me. Sent them out and got them heat treated for me. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Um, should be a Rockwell hardness of 58 to 60. So, um... Yeah, we'll see how it does. Um, this one will be done, and once she figures out what kind of handle material she wants and what kind of design she wants, uh, we'll go. Well, obviously, it's going to be the same shape as mine, maybe a little bit thinner. She's got smaller hands. Oh, eye boogers! But uh, <clears throat> no, really, really excited about this. This is something I've been working on for a long time it's something i've been uh, man just doodling and drawing for at least the last couple of years yeah <laughs> so um planning and perfecting and my prior video you see i got my uh luku so be testing that one out and like i said once my uh sc6 comes in i'll take the cold steel for Max Scout, I'll take my Luku, I'll take my Felkneven Nordic uh, NL3, I'll take the, I already said the Puku. Mm -hmm. What's the other one? The SC6 and, uh, oh, my Healy Nordic, because that hasn't been used out in the woods yet. You've there's, gotten quite a few this year. There's another one. I know I'm missing one. I'm sorry, guys. But I know I'm missing one. <laughs> But anyway, I'll take those all out in the woods, including my brand new chainsaw, which 
you're not going to see until I'm Maybe up there in the woods. Um, ah! <laughs> eye buggers. And uh, no. show you how they all work. And hopefully, I'm, ah. chewing on it. I'm not expecting my knife to outperform certain ones. But I'm expecting it to be on the same level. The same compatibility. The same hold on yards. Um, actually, I'm holding it to the standards of the Felt Neven, is what I'm hoping for, other than the rust resistance and all that. Um, so yeah, you know, I mean, I'm a guy who went out and spent over $400 on a custom knife, and the first day I went out, I broke it. Um, then again, I made a knife for a buddy of mine. Who goes out and stabs it in the wood, twists it, and pries with it, and splits his wood that way. So, <laughs> don't do that, people. Please, please don't do that. Knives are not made for that. <laughs> uh, if I can, I'll get, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll get him on camera doing it of one of my knives that I made that he can do that with. Um, but yeah, no, I can't. I can't wait for this one to get done. Once it's done, I'm still, <clears throat> still on the fence of bluing it or putting a mirror polish on it. Don't know which way I want to go. Um, but yeah, no, uh, made out of premium materials, micarta handles, uh, A2 steel, titanium pins. <laughs> really good epoxy, <laughs> you know, uh, Loctite, um, it's either that or Gorilla, <clears throat> yeah, either that or Gorilla epoxy, the only two epoxies I use on my knives, so, no, I'm really excited about this knife, really excited to get it done, like I said, it doesn't look pretty right now, but, um, basically, once I cut those off, it's, it's a functional knife, um, so yeah, I'll take it to my whetstones, I'll take it and, uh, oh, it's been a long process, guys, <laughs> it's been a very long process, I only have one more to do, and it's for her, it's the exact, exact same knife, like I said, we're just going to put different handles on hers, so, yeah, alright guys, stay tuned, and again, this is just, a. Uh, update on my custom knife I've been working on and uh, hope to see you guys later all right keep your knife sharp keep your fingers out of the way and as always be safe <laughs> someone wants to say hi and as always be safe yeah tell them be safe and she's not no okay all right later guys bye <laughs>